Best Landscaping Ideas 2023 Front Yard Backyard Landscaping Ideas DIY Landscape Design To Save Money Just Keep Watching Be one of the HD Interiors family to make your home vibrant. HD Interiors channel is your way to build a contemporary home. Hey everyone, and welcome back, all subscribers of the HD Interiors family. If you want a garden that turns heads but won't empty your wallet, do your own landscaping. It's easy to familiarize yourself with the basic principles of landscaping design in order to create the yard of your dreams. Please if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe us for more new videos. Follow our step-by-step -step guide to DIY landscaping on a budget with these landscaping tips and ideas and a few weekends worth of work you'll have all the curb appeal without all the expense let's get started with the first step number one decide on a theme when you begin your diy landscaping project you'll first want to figure out the theme for your yard or garden a theme will give you a blueprint from which to draw in terms of plants hardscape and accessories a cutting garden, for instance, would contain plants ideal for bouquets, such as tea roses, cosmos, zinnias, and tulips. Such gardens do especially well in raised beds, which you can easily and inexpensively build yourself using non-toxic materials. Knowing the theme of the garden also helps you pick out accessories. A cutting-style garden for instance, is the perfect home for a gazing ball and arbor. Theme gardens can illustrate a favorite storybook and include plants and accessories that play into the idea. Get your children involved in the process and create a theme that will grow with your family's needs and wants. Number 2. Draw up plans. As landscape designers do, draw up the plans for your garden on paper or on the computer doing so allows you to make a pleasing design and see when things aren't fitting well or if you have empty holes to fill when the design is still on paper it's easy to move things around and eliminate items if necessary consider your water sources habitual traffic patterns your family might use across the area and necessities like a grassy area for your dog add established trees and buildings and take a look at the sun's path over your property to allow proper growth of sun or shade loving plants think about the size of tools such as mowers or wheelbarrows that need to be moved around the garden area number three create garden rooms just as the interior of the home has various rooms such as living and dining rooms entryways and kitchens effective gardens contain the same elements look at your exterior in terms of rooms with various functions for instance plan for an outdoor kitchen and dining area for example your grill and your patio table a living room area for sitting and chatting and a lounge area with lounge chairs and hammocks where you can take an afternoon nap don't forget the spot for the dog or the children to play do you need a garden spot that could be gated off from the rest of the yard at times plan for a pretty gate or other movable barriers do you need to protect your vegetable garden from deer or other animals factor in fencing raised beds or a garden structure with a covering that lets rain and light in but keeps birds out perhaps you would like a private area for reading or meditating free from the eyes of neighbors 
work these into your landscaping plans. Here are a few ideas to consider while planning your space. Number 4. Blend hardscape and plants. An eye catching landscape does a good job of blending plants with hardscape items such as pavers, retaining walls, barbecues, arbors, and gazebos. You want a good mix of both types of items to create a yard that is functional and aesthetically pleasing. Generally, hardscape items are put in first, and then you plant around them. Add sculptural pieces for impact, they don't have to be expensive. Use a variety of mosses and low growing plants to accentuate a paved area, and find trailing plants for higher geometric forms. Number 5. Consider mature plant size. Educate yourself about the eventual size of plants before including them in your landscape design. Some trees can reach 60 feet tall or be several feet wide, making them unsuitable for many home landscapes. Others drop leaves, seeds, or cones at certain times of the year. Root systems could infiltrate sewer or water lines. Removing an overgrown tree can be costly, so, make the right choice, in the first place, to save yourself money and headaches. You can choose to plant perennial plants, plants that come back every year, annuals. You will have to replace them every year or a blend of the two. Perennials such as lavender and daisy offer a reliable base, and annuals, such as petunia or pansy, allow you to change colors and flower types every year for a new and exciting look. Garden stores often offer deals on multiple plant purchases, so don't be afraid to ask for a discount if you are buying a cartload of plants. Talk to friends and family who have gardens and ask them if they have any plants they have divided or removed. Also, ask about cast off plants or plants that have been neglected. You might be able to revive them with a good watering or a fresh pot of soil. Gardeners love to share the wealth of plants and flowers.